YouTube, YouTube. Good morning, how y'all doing today? Man, I caught this big old red over there in Venice, Louisiana. Look at this big bull red. He every bit of, man, he got to be at least 30, 30, 35, 40 pounds. I can't only pick that joker up. Look at that joker. I'm gonna pull him out today. Hey, you guys stay tuned, man. This is where they work at. People love catching the big bulls, but that's why they release them, because they hate to clean them. They'll job to clean. Well, I'm finna, I'm, finna, I'm finna put lay him out of his suit this morning. And you guys stay tuned. We gonna see what's gonna happen. Watch him off. I had him in the ice overnight. And what's important too, man, you guys gotta have some good knives. Look at this. Oh, I got something to clean them with. You gotta have some good stuff. That's some Japanese knives. They are good for stuff like this here. Got the big one, got the medium cleaver. And then I got the, this one here, that Paleo. That thing's sharp as, boy, it's sharp. I tell you that, play with it if you wanna. But I keep it wrapped, keep them clean. And look at that, it's sharp, man. You can cut up stuff with that joker. I can't, give me a break. Got water going everywhere, just put my fire out. And a little smoke fire going to keep the mosquitoes away out here. And uh, I'm finna play this joke out. Look how big he is. But it's finna go down. It's going down. Look at that, I want you to see how massive he is. Look at that joker, man. Ugh. lay them out the best I could. I'm going to do the very best that I could. And I did it again. Me and that water hose. I, li I like to go up under this fin here. Right up under the gill. The scales, the scales is like an armor plate. I go around it go around that head and I come down that, just like you're doing a regular fillet, like you're filleting a, a snapper, a grouper, or anything else. Then I go down that backbone. I follow that dorsal fin all the way down. Stay on that backbone, just like that, just like so. Look at that. I feel that bone in there. Once you feel that bone in there, you know you're good to go. Now I just keep on going all the way down to the end of the tail, as far as I could go on the tail. See that? Just like you fill in anything else, stay on the backbone. You feel that backbone in there. Once you feel that backbone in there, you know you're in line. Just keep cutting off that backbone. You're going to open up. You're gonna open the suit up in a minute. If you stay on that backbone, follow that backbone down the line. Just keep on coming down that backbone. You're gonna keep on opening up. Go all, I want like to go all the way through off the backbone and just slide all the way down to the tail. Like that. Look at that, see how he opening up? Starting to open up, just follow the backbone. I just follow that backbone, keep on following that backbone. You're gonna feel the rib cage, see them bones cracking a little bit in there? You just follow the stuff, just keep on cutting down the rib cage. Stay right on top of the rib cage. Cut them out that rib cage. There's so much meat on this soaker, man, you can feed couple families off this joker for days this will be a little complicated part up here by the rib cage but you stay on top of the rib cage like I'm doing and you just keep on packing at it and you keep on opening up more and more every time you hit it right it's a big fish man 
That's why they hate cleaning them. They so huge. If he had a little one, you would have been out here by now and gone about your business. It's the complicated part up here by the head up here. I hate to lose so much meat, so I try to stay, I just stay on that backbone in the rib cage and keep on cutting down that rib cage. They're gonna heal. Trust me. It got to. It's just the dynamics of it. See that? And look at that. All that's bone. That's the rib cage. That's the backbone all the way down. I didn't lose hardly not much meat at all. Then that rib cage and all that stuff. My mom eat that stuff. You watch what I show you. I'm gonna show you how we do it in the country. Look at that. One big fillet, right? One big fillet. Now that's all bone. Bone head, real cage. And what you want to do, we're going to do the other side the same way. Flip them, flip them over. Go up under this fin. Stay close as you can. You're going to hit, you're going, you're going to hit that little breastplate in there. But you, you don't do that hard. <laughs> Try to keep your hands clean. Hands get slippery off that fish. Go down that dorsal fin the same way. Go down that back fin. You come around by the head. Same way. You follow that back fin. See that fin there? You follow that fin all the way down with your knife. The first run. Just get in there and go down the line first before you try to try to go too deep to the real cage and all that stuff. Just try to get in there. See how I'm doing? Just get in there first to open it up. It's a, it might be, you can't do all that fast, speedy stuff, especially if you're just starting to lay fish out good. You can't get all that, get all fancy. Just stay down that fin. Look at that, I'm following that fin all, look at that. See that fin? I'm following that fin all the way down. All the way down. Then when you get to that open part, I try to go through. All the way through. See the knife going through? Then I come down that bone. Come down that tail bone. All the way down to the end. Look at that. All the way down. See that? That's all bone. Now I open them up with my fingers the best I could. And I start falling that backbone down again. The backbone is your key. You want to find that backbone. Found that backbone. That backbone, your friend. Look at it. Look at it's opening. It's open. Stay on that backbone. Then your rib cage, you wanna take your time. You can hit a you can hit a knife hit the bone. And I'm trying to beat this rain out, they can put a tail up something like that. Me and this water hose, I don't know what's going on with this water hose today. Then you just just is basically really a lots of common sense too. Well, well, I know common sense ain't common with everybody, but you know you just follow that bone. Look at that. I'm right on that. I'm right on that rib cage bone, going down the line. All you want to do is follow them fins. Everywhere you go, you follow them fins, you'll find freedom. Look at that. All right off the fin, ain't losing lots of meat. It's such a big fish, man. It's a massive fish. I ain't joking. Keep on cut. Don't be scared. Get in there.
hear the bones cracking. Good sign. Cut up right up under his throat. Look at that. He opening up. Look at that. That's real. That's real bone there. Yeah. See that? That's all real bone. You gonna get a little messy, but you gotta get in there and make it do what it do. Look at that. I ain't losing probably much of nothing. That throat, I take that throat out. My mom like frying them uh, throats. She love it. Lots of meat in them throats too. I don't waste hardly much of nothing. Honestly, I don't. I try not to waste anything. Piece of that stomach line. Get that out of there. And then now, I'm going to lay it out. Take him out of his suit. I, need, I really need a, uh, I need to sharpen this knife up a little bit more. Let me get my sharpener and I'll be right back. Let me sharpen this knife up. You know what? Matter of fact, maybe I could, I could play it with this. Let's try it. Why not? It's sharp. Just get the grip on that sucker. Just lay it on, lay it on that skin. Lay it on the skin and go up it. There we go. There we go. It's working. Hey, they say if it's a wheel, it's a way, right? Look at that. Nothing but meat. Look at that. All meat. work but it's gonna be worth it look at that look at that joke of that Ooh man and that's the body armor he done look at that all skin that's all skin I ain't waste much meat did I now look at this let me show you something that's all meat look at that joke look how thick it is that's all meat. All meat. Wow. Now, we're gonna pull this other filet out the same way. After I get it cut up, I mean, get it filleted, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the head part. I'm gonna show you how we get that throat out. Break that backbone down. Joker there. Wee. Hey, babe. Hey. And it's good. It's good. We good. Look at that joker there. Look at that filet. Now, let me show you something. Did I waste much meat? No I ain't waste nothing. That's just a shell. That's a farmer. Now, I get them filets. What I do, I cut them up in chunks. Babe, you got any Ziploc bags? I should have got them before I came out. 
cut them in chunks like that. So you can make them smaller for nuggets or whatever you're gonna do with it. But you got some good eating right there, man. Look at that, look at that, boy. And since I go down that crease, I cut that crease like that, and I cut another nugget. Look at that, look at the meat texture. Look at the texture on that meat. You think you're eating some grouper filet or something. Old meat. Old meat. Got a few rib bones in that one. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. Look at that. All fillets. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I gotta wipe the camera. Go ahead, take it off. How do you want to take it off so bad? Go ahead. Oh. There you go. Clear. Clear. All right, we back in action. We clear. Look at that. Put enough portions for one meal so you want to throw, throw everything out at one time. I hate freezing fish, throwing it out, and reusing it. That's not cool. I hate to do that. I got three nice bags of fish. Look at that. Oh, Chucks, man. Fry that up with some good old grits and cheese. You got yourself something. Nah, I can't let that backbone go to waste. My mom gonna go crazy. She'll lose it. She know I threw that away, boy. She'll be a hot lady. But just so much work and trying to get that little stuff out. It's all, all the inside. I was gonna just burn that up, but the fire, I got the water hit the fire. All right, this the throat part. She loved this part. We try to get it out for her. But the backbone part here, I used to just hit it like that, chop in the hair, do the same thing. This here, make your nice little steaks. My mom, hey, she loved frying this. But you know what, it's not bad. Look at the meat in it. People throw this part away, not us. Look at that. That's another meal all by itself. Just backbones. Look at that. And this throat part, I, I hate going to doing the work, but she likes it so much, man. And this little belly part right here, man. Yeah. 
Hey, fish. How you doing, man? You a hard guy to catch up with. All of them tell you the same thing? Ha! Why you got a bigger nail? Yeah, man, I went up to uh, Louisiana, up in Venice. I left out Friday morning, went over there and did some fishing with my homeboy. And I cut me a nice big old red. That joke was so that big. That's a, that was a big boy there. What, that, what kind of fish that is? A red drum. Gosh dang, man. What you pulling with? Uh, live shrimp. I mean, with your line, boy, you gotta have a good oh, line. Oh, yeah, I had, oh, I, I had some, I had something for him. Man, look at this. Fish, what's going on? Hey, you still cut my man yard? Yeah, well, you have much, you have to keep on? Yeah, how much I owe you? Well, yeah, he, he two time, you two time. I didn't know. What um, I owe you, bitch? Hold on, what, 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 what I'm doing wrong. No, eh? oh, I'm sorry. But how much I owe you, bitch? Uh, I'm never. I ain't got one heaven, That's it. It's only one heaven, one God. I, I, I started here. I come up here. My mom and dad all come up here. I'm gonna stay right here. Look at them throw. We call that meat in that throat. And you people throw this away. You, they you throw all this I, part I, away right here. And all you gotta do is take time. Is That's a meal right there. It's two big pieces, all man. You, you fry that. Cut them down. You, you That's a meal right there. Like That's, that'll just, feed me and my wife right there. She get a piece, I get a piece. It's a big old plate of grits with cheese. Man. Don't mess around and have no cat head biscuits. Man. Oh, man. Ha! All right, bitch, you be good. I'll see you this afternoon. Yeah, I'm going to go to church. After church, I'm coming home for the day. That's it. Okay. All right, let me get some rest and try to me pull out here tomorrow morning. Okay. Thanks, bitch. That's my neighbor, man. He like 90 years old. He keep the place up around here while we gone. And uh, he's a great guy, man. I mean, it's, it's hard to find guys with tenacity. And when we was kids, that's where we used to hang around. Lots of older guys and you listen to them. They teach you ethics. Some things, you know, it, it don't take no brain to be a brain. Just take common sense and ethics and tenacity and respect for yourself that's what they lost all respect now this young generation lost all respect but it's good man i didn't clean this fish you see i'm sweating like a racehorse it didn't work me out so i'm gonna put it in the freezer go take me a shower get ready for church man go worship and praise god today hey we love you guys man y'all remember you pray for us we pray for you and you watch god work things out you got any questions man give me a question but you, but you gotta get you some good knives look at these things man my cousin Jamie ordered these for me and sent them, sent them to me. Man, I'm so glad that's the best gift a guy could have got. I mean, they got nice cases that come with it, leather cases that come with it. I just keep them clean and they stay sharp by themselves, man. It's, it's amazing. And this thing here, man, shoot, it's the cleaver I ain't never seen before. And it's so sharp, you could fillet a fish with this cleaver. You know, they stay sharp. Look at that. That's still razor sharp. I done cleaned the whole fish and they still razor sharp. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna back everything up. You guys remember, man, you pray for us, we pray for you, you watch God work things out. Send me some comments, tell me what you think, man. We love you guys, I don't care what's going on, man. You What you gonna do? Times is tough for everybody, life is just tough. You gonna either cry or what you gonna fight? I tell you to fight today. Love you guys and you stay tuned.